Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a MetaMask account, how to put your Ethereum in that MetaMask account, how to make an OpenSea account, and then how to purchase your first NFT. Keep in mind, this will be geared towards the Ethereum blockchain. If all of this is already sounding overwhelming to you, do not worry. I'm gonna walk you through step by step and make it very easy to understand for new people in the space. So if you're a beginner in the NFT space and you're watching this video, you're good to go, I got you covered. All I ask in return is that you leave a big like on the video if it helps you out. And if you want to subscribe for future content that's gonna to continue to help you make money in this new cryptocurrency space and in the NFT space, definitely consider subscribing. If you wanna unsubscribe later, you can, and it's totally free to do, so why not? The first step is to go to metamask.io. I will leave all the links that you need for this tutorial in the description below. Metamask.io, you're gonna go right on here and then you're gonna click download now. This is gonna allow you to download to either Chrome, which we're on right now, iOS or Android. I would highly advise that when you're buying NFTs that you stay on Chrome because right now most NFT mints and NFT websites don't work super well on mobile just yet. It's still very early on in the space. So it's best to use the desktop version of MetaMask on your Chrome extension to make purchases. Most of you watching this video will probably be using Chrome, but if you want to use Firefox, that's also acceptable. You can also use Brave, which I've never heard of in my life, or Edge, and if you're using edge best of luck to you but you can use all four so i'm going to go ahead and click install metamask for chrome and it's going to bring me over to the chrome extension store if you've never installed an extension on chrome before this is what it's going to look like in the chrome web store you're going to click add to chrome then we're going to click add extension once you do that it's going to automatically open up the chrome extension it's going to say welcome to metamask connecting ethereum decentralized web we're happy to see you you'll click get started you can see the little fox here is going to go wherever my mouse does so have fun with that. Then, since we are new to MetaMask, we're gonna click create a wallet. As you'll see here, MetaMask is gonna tell you some important things, and although 99% of you won't read this, I will give you what you need to know anyway. The most important thing here we'll get to in a second, which is never giving out your key phrase, but you'll understand what that means in just a second. You're gonna click I agree, then you're gonna go ahead and put in a password. It's important that this password is something you can remember, but that you don't necessarily need to write down on a sticky note on your desk because you don't want people getting into your account. If they have access to your account, they have access to your wallet, which means they can access any of the money you have in there. So my password has a minimum of eight characters, capital letters, and numbers in it. And if you wanna add symbols, that's even better. Then you're gonna need to read and agree to the terms of use, which I have already done. And then we'll click create. The next step here, MetaMask is gonna have a video that shows you how your MetaMask account works and your secret recovery phrase. We'll talk about this in a second ourselves, but if you wanna watch this video, this can also help you learn about how the secret recovery phrase works and why it's so important. When you're ready, you can click next. Now, like I said, this is the most important part of this video, the secret recovery phrase. You can see right here, your secret recovery phrase makes it easy to get back in and restore your account. So for some reason, if you happen to forget your password or lose your password or your laptop gets destroyed and you're trying to log back in, the most important thing is you have your recovery phrase. This is also sometimes referred to as your keys or your key phrase or your secret phrase. All of these terms mean the same thing. So as you'll see right here, you should never, ever, ever tell anyone else the secret phrase not metamask not me not your mom not your dad literally nobody in the world should know this phrase but you you'll click this to reveal your recovery phrase now you're going to see mine here and just know that this is only for the tutorial i would never actually use this wallet because all you have to do is use this recovery phrase and you have instant access to this wallet I'm about to create. So I would never put any funds in there because anyone watching this video would then have access to those funds. So this phrase right here, you need to write this down on a piece of paper and store it somewhere very safe, ideally in an actual safe or a lockbox or somewhere that's waterproof, fireproof, tamper-proof, can't be easily broken into something that's genuinely very secure and also make sure you write this down on a piece of paper with your own handwriting ideally you don't want to copy and paste this on a word document or on a google doc or on an email or anything digital because if someone were to ever hack your computer or get access to your accounts and they found your secret recovery phrase again they would have full access to your metamask wallet which holds all of your funds so this 12 word phrase 
is critically important to your money. So protect it with your life, write it down on a piece of paper, put it somewhere safe. Once you've written this down, you can then click next. Then to make sure you know that you've written it down properly, you're gonna have to put that secret phrase back in the way you found it. Once you've put this back in the proper order, you can click confirm and you're done. You've made your MetaMask wallet. Just make sure you know that recovery phrase before you click that step. Then you'll click all done and here we go. This is our MetaMask wallet. Now, the first thing you should do is go over here, click your little extensions tab and then pin your MetaMask to your extensions. I like to bring it all the way to the front right here so that it's always right there if I need it. So whenever you go to any other website, you can click the little fox here and it'll pull up your wallet right here. To make this easier for you guys to visualize, I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust settings on your account real quick. So you can see right here, this, if you click on it, will copy to clipboard and this is gonna be your unique wallet. But if we wanna go over here and click account details, we can see this full code right here. Clicking on this will copy it and then you can paste it anywhere else for other people to go ahead and send you money. So if you wanted to have a friend send you money, this is your unique wallet address. You can publicly share, this is okay to publicly share because when you send this to someone, if they wanna send money to you, they're gonna put this address as your address, your wallet address, and that they send money to this address, it'll show up in this MetaMask wallet. By clicking the little pencil right here and renaming this, you can rename this to whatever you want your wallet name to be. Click the check mark and then it will update your wallet name to whatever you want. You can easily make new wallets immediately within this MetaMask account by going over here and clicking create account. And then it'll be as simple as making a second account. And then as you'll see right here, I now have my first account and my second account. And my second one is gonna have different wallet address than the first one. This is the new one right here. Each wallet address you make will be completely unique and different than the last. So on your wallet, you'll see right down here, this is your Ethereum balance. Once you send money from your crypto exchange into your MetaMask wallet, that money will show up here. You can also import different tokens, meaning that you can put other tokens in here, whatever you want. I'm just gonna select a couple random ones. And once I add those, they will show up under my account under assets now as well. So you want to put other coins in your MetaMask wallet that are compatible with the Ethereum blockchain, you can do so and you'll see them here under assets. If you click the activity tab, this is gonna show you all of your recent transactions. So we don't have any transactions yet, but once we go and buy and sell something on OpenSea or another NFT platform, all of those transactions will show up here. If you want to send money to another account, you can click send right here and put in whatever the wallet address is that you want to send to. For example, I'm going to copy the one we did before and it's going to send to myself. So I'm obviously not going to do this, but you can put in a friend's wallet or uh, another crypto exchange. If you want to put your money back on the exchange, any wallet address right here, then you'll put how much you want to send and then you'll be able to easily send it. You can also buy Ethereum directly through MetaMask, although I would not recommend doing this. The last feature here, you can actually swap on MetaMask as well. You can again, swap Ethereum to pretty much anything else that works with the Ethereum blockchain. So for example, we can put compound and we can exchange one Ethereum for compound. This is basically the percent difference that the Ethereum price can change to before it cancels the transaction. I wouldn't worry about this too much. You're not going to find yourself swapping within the MetaMask too much. Usually you'll use Uniswap or another platform to swap. Now let's head over to OpenSea and show you how easy it is to make an OpenSea account once you have your MetaMask installed. We're on OpenSea right now. I'm going to go over to one of my favorite projects, the Doge Pound. And you can see right here that I'm going to see all the information about this NFT. I can see how many items there are, how many owners are, the floor price, what the total volume is traded, all the good stuff you want to know. So let's say I wanted to go over and buy this doge right here, this pink one. I can go and click buy now, and then it's going to bring up this section right here, which is going to ask me to connect my wallet. We're going to click MetaMask because again, it's the most popular one, and that's the one we just created. When I click that, it will automatically open up that little pop-up window like before. You might have to resize it, and then we can select which wallet I want to use. You can see right here, I have both of the wallets I just created. I'm going to select the first one here and click next. Then it's going to ask you to connect your wallet to this site. Be very careful. If you're going to connect to a random site that you don't know, make sure it's a site that you trust. Because as soon as you click connect, that site has access to see your wallet and pull funds from it. So if you go on a site that's malicious and is not trustworthy, there's a chance that could take all the money out of your wallet. So be very careful. Once I do that, you can see right here that my wallet is actually connected and that is it. I've already made my entire OpenSea account. You don't have to sign in or make a profile or anything like that. Your wallet acts as your account for OpenSea. So now if I wanted to buy this Doge, I can go and click buy now agree to the terms of service, and I would click confirm checkout. Obviously, I don't have enough money to do that right now, but as soon as I click confirm checkout, there'll be a window that pops up over here that asks you to confirm the transaction. You'll have to pay a small transaction fee depending on which project you're buying. You'll click buy, and then it will go through. If you wanna go and check out your profile, now that we've linked our account, you can go over here and click profile. This is gonna bring you to your collection site, and you can see right here, we have an unnamed profile right now. This right here is the same wallet address as the wallet we connected with OpenSea. You can see the little OpenSea symbol right here that shows 
we are connected to this website right now with this wallet. If you want to update your profile on OpenSea, you're going to click this little gear right here, which is going to open up the MetaMask browser again. You're going to have to sign this transaction. When you sign this transaction, it basically allows you to make changes to your account. So then you're going to go over and put in your username. We'll put Matt's Crypto 22. You can tell the world about yourself. Then you can enter your email address. This is going to be used so that if you do sell something or you want to buy something, you can get email alerts to your email about your account. You can also put in your Twitter handle, which I highly advise you guys go over and follow me on because I give out a bunch of free whitelists to NFTs. I give out some cool stuff on there and generally try to give my best advice on there as well. You can also put in your Instagram or your website if you have those. You can also change your profile image if you want to. I'll go ahead and change mine to my picture right here, which you can see right there. And then you can also change your banner if you wanted to. So I'll put a banner up there real quick. Then you're going to go ahead and click save and then you'll be able to go and see up here your profile is updated already and this is what your new profile will look like it's going to have your profile username it'll have the links to your twitter and instagram here if you put those in there and it's going to have the description you put in before once you buy new nfts you're going to see those under the collected tab if you create any of your own nfts they'll be under the created tab you can also favorite other nfts which will show up right here if you don't want anyone to see certain nfts you can go and actually hide those nfts from your collected and they'll show up in the hidden tab which only you will see the activities tab will show everything you've done on OpenSea, your buys, your sells, your transfers, your bids, and you can sort those all on the left side right here as well. Okay, there you have it. There was the quickest no-nonsense guide I could give you on how to make a MetaMask and how to get an OpenSea account and start using OpenSea to buy and sell NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. If you found the video useful, definitely help me out by giving a thumbs up. This information is totally free to you, and it really does help the channel grow when you leave a like, so thank you so much. And if you want to see more tutorials like this one that help you make money in the NFT and cryptocurrency scene, definitely consider you're subscribing. The last thing I ask from you is that you have a fantastic day and we'll see you all next time. Take care.